the direction they we celebrate our Savior. Whatever people seek in him, they find. In history, there has never been another so holy, sacrificial, good, and kind. His resurrection makes us all immortal. In heaven, we'll be together with our King. Eternally, we'll share all his blessings. Happy Resurrection! Jesus Christ is everything! It's impossible to find another who could or would suffer, die, be resurrected, and give an eternal gift to humankind. That's Jesus. My name is Ava Edinburgh. The name of my speech is Without the Resurrection of Christ. Without the Resurrection of Christ, there will be no hope of heaven. Without the hope of heaven, there will be no repentance, no personal transformation, no attempt to biblical principles without the resurrection. The world will be in chaos and darkness. Jesus' death and the resurrection means we can be born to live better, to do better, to shine light into the shadows. Hallelujah. Angels rolled the stone away from the tomb. Hi, my name is AJ Henderson, and this is The Cross. It is not a secret that Jesus was crucified upon a wooden cross for our sins, then rose again, giving us the eternal life we should be thankful for, especially on Resurrection Sunday, and any day, really. We must keep faith, praise Him, serve Him, thank Him for all that He has done for us, for none of this would be possible without His shedding of blood. This wooden cross that stands behind me, use it as you may to lay your burdens down and forget them here. They'll stay. We do not need burdens as, as they've been crucified with our Christ. We gather in this holy sanctuary to receive this message. Today, that message is, He is alive! Happy Easter. Prison. Three words that shattered prisons. Words that shook the earth's foundations. Words that transformed the sense of utter despair into cries of pure joy and ecstasy. Echoes of history's greatest triumph that still shape our reality. Even today, we're assaulted by constant distraction, countless sources waging war for our attention. Our hunger for validation, our desperate pleas for love and attention, three words calm our anxiety. In a universe spinning at breakneck speed, its inhabitants locked in an existential crisis, three words proclaim the purpose of our existence. This changes everything, for you see, if he is risen, then all other pursuits become secondary. All of our failures become insignificant. All criticisms and condemnations become ir irrelevant. This is only, there is only his word, his mission, and his infinite unconditional love for you because he is risen.
It's been two days, two days since we laid our Lord to rest. Never have I felt such pain. My heart aches and yearns for his presence. When we were with him, we felt unstoppable. He strengthened us. He empowered us. He promised resurrection. Most of all, he loved us. But what did I, Simon Peter, the man whom the Lord trusted to help build his church, what did I do with that love? I betrayed him. I left him. I denied him. Just like he said I would. Guilt has consumed and ravaged me. His crucified body still haunts me. Now all that is left of me is an unforgiven fool of a man, a poor fisherman lost and afraid without recourse without my best friend Peter, come the others are waiting you mustn't suffer alone tell them I'll be there soon just give me some time I know you're hurting but it's good for us to be together right now. To draw from each other's strengths. You mustn't hurt alone. Mary, you were not there. The Lord, your son, warned me that Satan wanted to test me. You didn't see the look he gave me when I denied him. And here I am full of blame and sorrow for what I've done. Worry not, Peter. Have you already forgotten what he promised? He said he'd rise again. Were you not his disciple? Did you not hear him say this? Yes, yes, I heard it, we all heard it. But it's so hard to believe it when you've seen death so visibly. Life feels real, but death feels even more real. You weren't there. You weren't at the cross, the place where he needed you the most. You didn't see him die. You didn't see what we saw. But I had no choice, I had to hide. No, Peter, we all feel the pain of losing our Lord, my son. He was my son. And for you to grovel and, and feel set apart is not what he wanted. He knew you would deny him. He already saw it coming and he already forgave you. All you must do now is wait with us. Wait until he rises again. He did it with Lazarus. Lazarus was different. He was there, the Lord was there. He was still alive. We didn't have to worry about his power failing. Then can you not have that same faith? He has never given you a reason to doubt him. What he promised is what he will do. This is the faith he spoke of. Do not disappoint him a second time. 
Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Peter, worry not. We will see him again. Sadness and pain exist for now, but he will bring joy when he rises. I know. I'm just... I'm just so weak right now. Then let us pray, just like he taught us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth. 